The thing we really like about this bender, number one, it's very easy to change the heads. There's no tools involved, no Allen wrenches, no wrenches, they just set on. The following shoe simply slides up and slides into a pin. It has a, and it has a, a holder right here when you're through with it. But the major, the major thing that's so important about this tool is the digital input, and we can input whatever angle we want to bend with a thumb screw right here, and it will bend that angle. Now notice we're gonna do an inch and eighth tubing. That requires, to make a 90 degree bend, requires two degrees of overbend because of spring back. So we're going to take a piece of inch and an eighth tubing, put it in the bender, follow it up with the shoe, and put it in position. At this point, it's ready to bend. You have a, a forward and a reverse here. We'll put it in forward. We're gonna bend a 90 degree angle with two degrees of spring back. Here we go. You'll notice that the bender itself has a 90 degree mark that lined up with this edge. That's to give you a visual indication that you in fact did want a 90 degree angle. So once you're satisfied with that, you reverse it, back it up. It will back up 15 degrees and stop, which allows you to release the shoe and put it in its parked position. It also allows you to release the tubing and take it out. You'll notice a very nice smooth outer bend, a very nice smooth inner bend with no wrinkles. That tubing is the bend in the tubing, because it has been work hardened, is now stronger than the tubing itself. So you don't have to worry about leaks in this bend. You will not get leaks in that bend.